Hi, see your apprentice here. So I've given oh, Craig a job. Hi, Craig. <laughs> this is my eggplant. Have a look at it. It's got flowers on it. It's got fruit on it. Got fruit all over it, as a matter of fact. Yep. But. But wait a minute, mate. I've given him the project, and he's not happy. Oh, well, I am happy. It's okay because <laughs> we're going to save a plant. So I want to dig this up because it's doing it. We've had a couple of frosts this week. And I want to pop it in a pot mm. into my hot house to see if I can keep getting fruit. So, so anything from the Solanum family, which includes tomatoes, eggplants, capsicums, chilies, don't really like overnight low temperatures below ten. And this is about to suffer because or we, Gary. or me, <laughs> um, thank you. Um, and ultimately, left here, this is going to die. It's not going to live. So. Uh, we've got a glass house, so what I intend to do is okay. to remove the fruit, okay. um, albeit that they're not huge. It is a Bonica eggplant, but um, I'm going to take them off, um, which I'll do right now, as a matter of fact. I'm just going to cut them off. Don't don't pick your fruit. Uh, always cut it off. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so, have a look. Eggplants. Even the small Aww. ones uh, have got to come off because they'll just simply not... Um, because we're going to dig the plant. So we can keep the flowers? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so, um, and as you can see, it, it's quite close to a, a rocket. And there's some volunteers coming up here. And by the way, I talked about this in a post a week or so ago, where you leave the tail of the spring onion in the ground. Well, this is the, uh, the shoot from it. I harvested the top of it, left the roots in the ground, and here we go. We've got two new spring onions on the way back up. Uh, in amongst things like garlic, I talk about this a lot, you know, so there's a, another garlic, there'll be one a bit further around, I've got a ring of garlic in readiness in October to plant a tomato in the middle. So, first things first, let's shift the eggplant, the, uh, sorry, the, the rocket, rocket. Um, beautiful soil, um, and... <laughs> I'm going to just loosen the soil up a little, even though I've nearly cut that garlic in half, nearly. Yeah. You want to loosen the soil up so that when you ease the plant out, that it's not going to do too much damage to what roots you leave. Oh, the worm's the trying plant. to get out there. Sorry? Look at the worms. Yeah. Well, there's lots of worms. I know. She's going to be in a compost today. So as you can see, I'm sort of digging down quite as deep as I can. And I'm now going to ease it up out of the ground. Careful to hold as much of the root ball as I possibly can. And this isn't easy. If you've got eggplants in the ground, I wouldn't suggest you do this with a tomato because they don't shift very well. But eggplants, eggplants are sort of... But they go okay. So, so um, before, before the apprentice had a pot, had a pot. it's got some soil in it and some compost. Yep. 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 So I half filled it. Okay, that was pretty good. Here we go. It's like the baby. Come on. Out you come. And now I'll give it lots of love. And oh, by the way, have a look back behind here. Oh, look. You can yep. see lots of worms, which is kind of what you want. Wonderful humus. See, look, I talk about this. We do talk about this. Um, oh, it holds oh. a ball, and when you press it, it crumbles nicely away. So that's got lots of humus in it. Mm. So just for a bear in mind, my book's not far away oh, from coming out. So... Let's fill up around the roots. Sorry about me, photography guys. I can't be good at everything. Ow! Yeah, well, they're prickly. Yeah. So, just beware, they're prickly, guys. Force your fingers around so that you get the air holes and any pockets holding air around the roots out of the out of soil. Don't fill your pots too full. You want to be able to, when you, you fill them up with water, that it fills up to the top and then it slowly but dispersal. 
surely disperses down into the soil. Okay, now have a look at my little plants. So before we go any further, oh, the other thing that has to happen mm -hmm. is we need to reduce its size. Mm. So we need to oh. cut it back oh. by about a third roughly. Oh, all my flowers. Uh, and I'll use some of these to graft onto the eggplant up the back. Oh, okay, that's going really well. So. All right. Um, well, thank you for that. And we'll also take a couple of those larger leaves that are looking a little bit poorly. Mm -hmm. We'll take those off. George is making sure he does a good job. Hello, George. George Podgy. Hey. And Buster, well, Buster's a bit tired. He was down the beach. He's hiding. Sorry. Yep. Give that a, uh, a good watering in with a biostimulant. Yep. Can Something you use worm like. juice? Worm juice, absolutely perfect. All right, that's what my, so, my choice today, worm juice is today. What I'll do now is I'll just top up what we didn't use. Yep. Thank you. My project is finished. Thanks, Craig. No worries. All the best.